My name is Derek Herrera. I was born into a military family. I joined the Marines. I married my high school sweetheart. I became an officer in the United States Marines Special Operations Command. I was proud to be of service and felt a strong sense of purpose. I deployed three times. When I was 23, I went to Iraq. When I was 25, I was sent to Haiti to help with the reconstruction efforts after the earthquake. In 2012, I led a seasoned group of Special Operations Marines in one of the most combative areas of Afghanistan. I was stationed in a small village to protect the local Afghans when I was shot. The bullet stopped between two vertebrae. I was paralyzed from the chest down. Our lives were changed forever. I've always lived by the philosophy that I cannot waste energy on things that are beyond my control. Instead, I focus on the things I can. I began to pick up the pieces and created a new normal. I went back to work. I started physical therapy and returned to school to get a master's in business administration. I started running marathons and paratriathlons and I wasn't going to let my injury stop me from living my life. I wanted to get back on my feet, literally. I did a lot of research on non-traditional therapies and that's when I learned about the rewalk exoskeleton. Clinical trials were underway and at first I didn't qualify, but after months of calling and calling and not taking no for an answer, I had approval to use the device for my physical therapy. The only problem was how to pay for it. With a lot of help from a lot of amazing people, I was able to raise the money and bought the device. I named her Betty after my late grandmother. And my dream to walk again, slowly, became a reality. I'm truly humbled by the support I've received from my family and friends. I could never have afforded Betty without the generosity of strangers. Now, I'm determined to help others. I went to Israel to meet with the Rewalk staff, including inventor Dr. Amit Gopher. He credits his knowledge and ability to his basic education in engineering, which he received at the Technion, Israel Institute of Technology. When I visited the Technion, I began to understand how he developed the device and incubated his company on the Technion campus. It was so inspiring. Israelis know how to do more with less, and they have enough chutzpah to try new approaches to existing problems. Now, I'm on a mission. I want to help get people back on their feet. I'm helping Technion researchers find new technologies that deal with paralysis and other spinal cord injuries. And I'm trying to help spread the word so others can experience a chance to walk again. I can only focus on what I can control. And if by sharing my story, I can help one more person overcome a life-changing experience, I'll be grateful. Please, help me pay it forward.